You can park right next to the... No. Okay. I'm Alfie. Come on in. Welcome. I'm Sadie. Sadie. That, that's a real different name. Sadie Jofi. Yeah. Well, uh, this is the living room. You're free to use it while you're here. The key works for the main house, too. There's some coffee and things over there. Oh, good. I can really use some coffee. Got a headache from all the headlights in the dark. How was your drive? Oh, you know, everyone out there's an idiot. Sorry, I, I don't know how to use that machine. I just bought it for the guests and you're the first one. That's all right, I'm a veteran of these things. Let me just open this. Yeah, I was a little worried that there weren't any reviews yet, but I guess someone has to be the first. I'm a little nervous about it all. There's a lot to learn. Looks like you could use a little help with the listing. There's some vagueness on there, some spelling mistakes. Oh, I know, I could never spell. So, what are you doing in Goose Creek? Uh, I have a job interview on Monday down the road, so just need a place for tonight, tomorrow, some get some things sorted out beforehand, you know? Oh, wow. Sounds like an important job. Creamer, plain creamer. Do you not have plain creamer? Oh, uh, I don't think. Just French vanilla. Yes. Sorry, I'll, I'll try to get some normal. A lot of people like unflavored. So, what will what, you be doing for this job? I'm a. It, it's. It's in finance. With Rarity Computing, big, big tech company. Wow. I didn't know such a big company was in Goose Creek. They're not. They're in Charleston. You really never heard of Rarity? No. You know what? I'm stressed out. I'll I'll probably just turn in. Is that the key there? Yeah. Go. Um, I stocked everything as much as I could, but it's just me. There's no one else. And I, and I, I, I have a terrible memory. All my life, I'm sorry. Uh, so, if there's anything missing, you can just come in here and take anything you need from the bathroom or, or the kitchen, if I'm not here. Okay. Where's the cottage? Right behind this way. See through the window? There's a shed, and then there's the cottage. Thanks. Good night. Good night. I just sleep. Fine. I just um, want to get some coffee here. Cottage, okay? Uh, you, you could use a humidifier. The heat's really dry in there. Oh, okay. Uh, I will make a note of that and get one soon. Like, real dry. Uh, can I fill this with water from the sink here? Sure. So is there no cable or streaming for that TV? It looks like I'd have to sign in for everything. No, sorry, it's it's just me and I don't watch, watch TV. The wireless works, right? It's a little slow. I just watch a lot of British shows. I, I like Faulty Towers and uh, Doctor Who and Black Adder. Do you know those? Doctor Who, I think I've heard of. I have a crazy sense of humor. You can probably tell that from the Wi-Fi password. In Pittsburgh, they used to call me Clown Boy. Yeah, that's a funny sign you have below the TV in the cottage. Which one? The one that says checkout time, 6 a.m. Oh, yeah, I, I, like, I like to have the rules posted pretty, pretty clear. Pittsburgh, huh? I moved equipment and stuff for a rock band there. Two rock bands, three rock bands. Nice. 
I was a hippie for years, 1997 to 2005. I almost lived in a van, the whole works. <laughs> I think I go crazy with people like that. I met so many amazing people. I once got high with the road crew from that band at Night Ranger. That was the one and only time though. I never did it again. I never felt so sick. I went to the hospital. That was when I made up my mind. Rules are important. Rules are important. So are they the people in the pictures out in, in the cottage around the... Um... Yeah, that's the band people I used to. But a lot of those are, are, are of my daughter. It felt a little strange, you know, to have so many personal photos around. You might want to think about moving those out. Strange? Yeah, a little too personal. Oh. Your daughter, she's the one with the, um, the, the one that's holding the guitar a lot? Yeah, that's her. Huh, that's your daughter. Is she graduating college in one of them? Anne Arundel Community College, 2013, yes. You must have been really young when you had her. Oh, well, the thing is, when I say my daughter, it's just that we, we, we got so close over the years. She's actually not technically mine. She, she was a runaway, and she stayed with me when she was having a bad time a long time ago, and I helped her, and we were never really apart, and I helped her with high school, and she lived with me on and off. She called me dad and everything. She didn't have anyone else. Right. She died two years ago. Hmm. Yeah, two years ago. What happened? A uh, car accident. Wow. But I'll do what you said. I'll move the pictures out of there for the next guest. There's someone coming in right after you. And, and two weeks from now, too. I guess I'm a hit. You should get those spelling mistakes fixed before you do anything else. A lot of people will just go right past the listing if they think you're not on the ball. If you're not perfect, you're just dirt to them. Oh, I already made a note of that. Gonna get those ironed out. I know someone who's a whiz at that. I'll uh, check in with you tomorrow morning on my way out. 6 a.m., remember. <laughs> right, got it, 6 a.m. Jesus. I didn't see you there. It's okay. I just like to come down here sometimes when it's like this. I have my tea. I was just looking for another blanket. The heat's so dry I didn't really want to turn it on. Oh, sure. There's uh, two extras folded right over there on the uh, ottoman. This will do. Just sitting there in the dark? Just for a while. It's pretty late. Well, I had such a crazy dream. I'll tell it to you. It was so silly. I, I, I killed Woody Guthrie. You know him? Heard the name, maybe. He's my hero. He traveled everywhere. And I killed him on a beach. But I had to get rid of the body somehow. So I, I, I was running around the house trying to figure out what to do. And the next thing I knew, I was, I was standing over the sink. And I was trying to push his arm down into the hole. There. Just the half of the hand, not the whole thing, not the elbow but it wouldn't go, so I tried. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is so terrible. I, I, I tried 
twisting it into the hole like it was a screw. And it was just sticking up because it wouldn't twist in any further. I was all out of ideas. Have you ever heard such a stupid dream? They get weird sometimes. Night. Did you ever have one so bad you started screaming? What? No. You can just leave the key on the bedspread and go in the morning. That's better than tramping across the lawn in the dark and the rain. It's supposed to keep raining. Well, it won't be dark. Sunrise at 7.12. I checked it. I like to check it every day and see how. We're slowly getting towards spring. I figure I'll head out around 10.30. Don't forget the checkout time, No. The checkout time. Uh, it's usually 11 or so. Right, but remember the sign? Here it's 6. You are joking, right? Clown boy, I get it. Oh, no. See, I need to get in there and start working for the next guest. I'm kind of slow. That's, uh, <laughs> that's really not an acceptable checkout time. It is dark at six, but that doesn't even matter. You can't ask people to leave their room at six in the morning. Certainly wasn't on the website, thank God. You'd never get a booking. It's important, though. I need to be able to take my time with my bursitis. And I'm such an early riser, I figure I may as well take advantage of that. Look, my interview isn't until noon. I need to get some really good sleep, and there is no way in hell that a checkout time before even nine is acceptable. You'll just have to wait, okay? Well, I can't have you just pay for the extra day. There's another guest coming tomorrow night. I wouldn't pay for an extra day anyway. I'll leave the room at a normal human time. Six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah. That, that's not sane reality. You know that, right? I get to make the rules for my own place. Sane rules. Sane. 6 a.m. <laughs> Do you want to go out of business immediately? No. Well, there is a functioning world out there that operates on a standard clock. There is no hotel, no motel, no Airbnb in America that hustles people out before dawn. I am under... <sighs> Listen to me. You don't know the stress. You can't imagine it. So, I'll leave at 10. You can have a nice five-star review, get you going. But I have to sleep. I cannot argue this with you, all right? One thing I've learned is a rule is a rule. It's right there on the wall in the cottage beneath the TV. That doesn't mean anything to me. Look at every other listing. Leave this house sometime. Communicate with the world. Get real about this. I never want to leave this house again. Why should I? Stay here then. Be a weakling. You're just like that man. What man? The man who hit Daisy with his car. Sorry? She pulled over, just like she was supposed to. She was getting along with the police. She was doing that breathalyzer. And the man came along too fast, and he didn't move over into the other lane, like the law says you have to when there's a police car on the shoulder. And he killed her. Because he thought he was above it. That's not a law. It's just something you're supposed to, you're supposed, you're supposed to abide by. It's it the rule. And he broke it. And Daisy died. 
And you're no better. Follow the rule! I am going to sleep now. I'll be out of your little universe tomorrow. Good luck with the business. Get a humidifier. Now as I look around, it's muddy plain to see. This world is such a great and funny place to be. Oh, the gambling man is rich and the working man is poor. And I ain't got no home in this world anymore. You have reached the voice mailbox system for Spartanburg Human Services. Your contact, Allison Donovan, is not currently available. Please leave a message and your call will be returned as soon as possible. Thank you. Guess who this is? And guess where I am? I know. You tried to tell Rarity about my record. <laughs> Screw up my last chance. Even after I told you what will happen to me if I don't get this. So, listen to me, pig. If this job doesn't come through, I am coming to your house and I am going to torture you. I'm going to tie you up and I'm going to torture you. No, 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 you're not going to do what I ask? Does it sound like it? I'll have to charge you for the day. I guess in a couple of hours I'll consider you a trespasser. Are you out of your mind? I should tell you something. I'm really very strong. Did you notice my muscle? I've worked in gardens all my life. Oh, oh you, 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 you pick the wrong person, little man. I mean, I could come in there without even needing a key. I don't want to do that. But I just can't be around people who break the rule. They can't be on my top. Come on in, little man. Let's see how far you'll get. They shouldn't keep living. People like that. That's my new rule, too. If this door opens, you die. How about if I count down? Is that fair? 
and start at 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. You're the one I've been waiting for. Peg. 4, 3, 2, 1. Get in there, get in there. 